Good day, students. Welcome to the course selection module 2021 and 2022 for grade nine students at Alexander McKenzie High School. I'm Ms. Juma and Mr. Young will be presenting along with me. We will look at part one today and part two will be carried out by Mr. Young. This module is divided into two sections. Part one, learning goal. We are learning how to find our graduation requirements, research prerequisite courses for our pathways after high school, choose courses for next year and the rest of high school. When you enter high school, you'll notice that you have something called graduation requirements. It looks similar to what you see here. This is set out by the Ontario Ministry of Education. You need 30 credits to graduate high school, 40 community hours, and you need the successful completion of the literacy test. Right here, you'll notice a breakdown of the credits, four credits in English, three credits in math, and so on. On the right, you'll see a breakdown of the group one, two, and three credits, which are also part of the compulsory credits, and we'll look at that right now. Group one falls in the category of English, French, social sciences, co-op. Group two falls into the category of uh, French, business, arts, health and physical education and co-op. Group three falls under French, science, computer studies, technology and co-op. So what this essentially means is that in order for you to graduate, you'll need to complete a course that falls under each one of these categories. Co-op can go for two groups, two out of the three groups, not all three. And French can go for all three groups. And if, if you wish to diversify and take different courses, you could do so following the list here. This is known as a credit counseling summary. You have started accumulating a credit counseling summary since your entry into high school in grade nine. You will have a history of your courses. On the left, you'll see the compulsory courses. On the right are your elective courses. Above, you will see the number of community hours that you've completed to date. And then once you've completed the literacy test, it'll say successful completion. At the bottom are the accumulated compulsory credits. The student has 18 out of 18 and the elective and the student has 10 out of 12 completed. Now let's look at a few important things before we go into course selection, how course selection works and why the dates are very important. My Pathways Planner found on the YRDSB website it opens in January, but you cannot begin choosing courses, but you can begin browsing. On February 16th, My Pathways Planner opens and it closes and locks on February 23rd. It's very important to follow these dates. The reason why it's very important to follow these dates is that once you've chosen the courses, we on our end at, at AMHS can determine, along with the board, your region district school board, we can determine the courses that we can offer. If we have enough students picking a certain course, we can offer those courses to you. In April and in May, the administration decide, it creates a, a, a draft tem, a timetable for the students based upon student requests. In April, summer school opens. So if you feel at the end of grade nine, you would like to take a course in summer school, you can do so. If you need to repeat a course, you're able to do so by signing up on my blueprint in April. Between June and August, student timetables are created. Alternative courses are inputted if necessary. And now I turn it over to Mr. Ayung, who is also a guidance counselor at AMHS. Mr. Ayung. My name is Mr. Ayung, and I'm going to get into some more details about course selection. So when choosing our courses, we need to consider a few things. We need to consider the courses that we must Take the compulsory courses, the courses that we need to graduate. Also, we need to consider our interests and our pathways in the future. So, when choosing courses, we are going to use My Pathways Planner, um, and this can be found on the school board's website, yrdsc.ca. And when you log on to My Pathways Planner, you need to go to this page um, and select the appropriate grade. For many of you, you will be going into your grade 10 year, so you will pick the grade 10 column and pick your courses underneath that column.
also you need to choose alternate courses um, and you need to make sure these are courses that you are interested in taking. We will use your alternate courses um, if there are elective courses that do not work in your timetable. So please choose wisely. In grade 10, there are five compulsory courses, courses that you must take. English, math, science, history, and careers in civics. You will also need to do some elective courses and the school offers a variety of elective courses in different areas, such as art, music, computers, drama, French, physical education, and technology. If you are planning on taking a summer school course, there's no way of indicating this on My Pathways Planner. Information will, for summer school registration will be available in the spring. If you are planning on taking a summer school course and you are very sure that you will be taking this course, you do not need to put this course on your course selection for next year. So when you are submitting your course, you need to click the Submit button in My Pathways Planner, and the deadline to do that is February 23rd, 2021. You may begin submitting your courses starting on February the 16th. And again, courses must be select, submitted by February the 23rd. It is very important that you choose wisely your courses, do your research, as it is very difficult to make changes after your timetable has been created. Thank you. And if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to speak to someone in guidance.